Hey guys, I just wanted to come on and show you really quick how to edit the logos that are included in the Modena pack. Um, so first you're going to install your fonts onto your computer. Um, and then after that you can open the file included in Illustrator. Um, so I've used my .ai file, my Illustrator file. And all you really need to do to edit these logos is use your text tool. So I'm going to go over here on the left to my toolbar select the type tool and let's say I want to customize this to be something different um, the Davis <laughs> um, and maybe it's not fine dining uh, maybe it's a cafe bar and then um, if you need to adjust your layout, you can kind of click and drag to make sure that that looks okay. Um, so yeah, basically every logo is editable that way. You just edit the text using your type tool. Oops. And then edit each layer of text. If you're having a hard time getting to the bottom layer, it's easier to cut your top layer out. So uh, select it, go to Edit, Cut, or Apple X. Edit your text. And then Paste in Place. So you can go Edit, Paste in Place, or Shift, Command, V, and it'll put it right back up there for you. And then if you want to make sure that everything is aligned, which I think these should be, you can go to your align bar here and click this horizontal align center and it'll get everything aligned. If you don't have this in your window, go to window align and it'll be there. So after you're done editing the text portion of your logo, what I would do is select the logo that you're wanting to use and copy it. And from there, you can paste it into a new document so that it's isolated by itself. That way, if you're having to send it to different companies to use for maybe embroidery or uh, print or anything like that, you have it just in one place without every other logo. And if you want to have it available to use in other contexts, I do basically the same thing, copy-paste, but you can copy-paste into Photoshop. So let's get Photoshop up. And this is where using your logos in more of a practical sense comes into play where you can you can create um, transparent background images that you can use with your logo. Um, sorry, ignore every other file. <laughs> So from here, you can paste your logo. I like to keep things as a smart object. Kind of center it, maybe give it some space. So now you can uh, paste your logo in any context that you need, any size. So if you need it super big, you can paste it super big. If you need it small, you can paste it small. Just change your document size uh, to be whatever you need. And then from here, sorry, my computer's being slow today. Um, you can turn your background layer off to get that background away. And then go to File, Save As, uh, ping and you can do that here so Wilson photography logo so under format just go ahead and click down and save as ping and what that's gonna do is save your file without a background so if you were gonna use your logo on Canva if you're gonna use it for a website something like that where you don't want this big white box to be in the back it's just going to put it right on top of whatever image you put behind it. Um, and I can show you how that works really quick by clicking and dragging an image in there. 
Again, sorry my computer's being so slow. It's one of those days. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. So now when I put my logo on top of that, it's gonna be just the logo on top of the image without any white background, any any blocks you need to work around. So um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I'm so happy to do these videos for you guys. Um, I wanna make it as easy as possible to use all the products that you're getting and just make your companies look great. So. Um, yeah, let me know and I am happy to help. Thanks guys.